Hi, right. in this video I'm going to show how to solve the bandwidth overloading issue on the Dahua NVR. And this is the symptom of the problem. You can see I have one channel here which is just not displaying any image. It's not giving me a, an error saying cannot connect. It's literally just a black screen. And okay, you, on some occasions you might get a notice here saying something about bandwidth or something like that. Right, so I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Right, I'm now logging in to the NVR. Once I've logged in, I'm going to go to the settings page. On the settings page, I'm going to go look on the encoding section tab. And here you will see all the channels. And most important, what is causing this problem is the resolution and the bit rate. So what happens is the NVR has a specification. And that specification is how much bandwidth is available for all the cameras. And this is one of the problems when people are buying NVRs is they don't specify, they don't look at that specification and it's not always brought to the buyer's attention. Okay, this is a 60 megabit or an 80 megabit NVR. And now here I have a 16 channel NVR and most of the cameras are three megapixel. Now, if you do the calculation and you say 16, times 3 is already 48 meg. Now you have to add to that all the substreams. Remember the remote login is also a consumer of the bandwidth. And then you also have to factor in the bit rate. For example, I've set this here to the highest bit rate because obviously if I've bought these expensive cameras, I want them to run at their full potential. And what happens is if all your cameras are set to the highest resolution, you might have that problem, as I uh, showed earlier, where literally it, it just won't show the image. There's not enough bandwidth available to actually show the image. And this is a problem. So to solve the problem, unfortunately, you have to reduce the bandwidth. I mean, the resolution of the cameras you will need to set it to a lower amount you can do a bandwidth calculation you go through all the uh, all the cameras you might have to down sample them a little bit the important ones maybe the cameras which are more susceptible to uh, like maybe the crime or whatever it is you're trying to observe keep those on the higher uh, setting but you'll need to downscale it just like i'm doing now so that the NVR can deal with 16 or however many cameras you've got at that same bandwidth. So, moral of the story, when you're purchasing your NVR, check the bandwidth. Yes, you'll probably say, oh, 80 megabits can ease, I'll never use that. But remember, it's time 16, 16 cameras, plus the substream, plus, uh, and the bitrate. And that actually can quite easily... Um, overload the NVR and then you're sitting with, with a, a pointless situation of buying 3 megapixel cameras when your NVR can't even deal with 3 megapixel cameras. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Uh, I've explained how to solve that problem and then important, you will need to reboot your NVR. So, thanks for watching.